As Christians, it is time to take our rightful position as salt and light in this perverse world in order to transform the spiritual, social, economic and political fabric of the nations. The destiny of our nations rests in our hands. As God's representatives on earth, we must be willing to declare the position of God in our societies, institutions, families, and wherever we find ourselves. Welcome to Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche, Chairman of the Church of Pentecost. This broadcast is powered by the Church of Pentecost headquarters. Weekly Inspiration, be inspired to transform. In last week's message, we learned that confession is acknowledging by revelation one's state of emotions. We can either confess our bitter feelings to God or human beings depending on the situation one finds himself. Once you have a bitter feeling, the right person to confess to is God. In this week's message, Apostle Eric Nyameche takes a closer look at confessing bitterness to God and how it brings refreshment to the soul. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Happy to come your way once again. We are still looking at dealing with bitterness, dealing with bitter spirit. We said last week that there are two kinds of confession. You either confess to God or you confess to the offender. And certain times this confessing or making peace with the neighbor, according to Romans 12, 18, might not depend on you. If the fellow is not allowing you to uh, come close or to do their confession, then you may settle with confessing it to God. We cited an example of rape. Some may want to keep quiet over that, but it's not the best. Please, rape is an offense. Just let the police or someone know, a superior know that this is what is going on, and let the person be apprehended. Such people should not be kept in the society. Please report. But reporting a rape case does not mean you have forgiven. It doesn't replace confession, this kind of confession that we are talking about. What is confession? What are we really talking about? We are saying that confession is to admit. That is why we said to acknowledge by revelation. The revelation is coming from the conviction of the Holy Spirit. So now you admit what hitherto you were suppressing. And then you try to pour it out, release your spirit by confessing it to God, the, the true state of your heart, or confessing it to the offender, what you think is an offense. You confess to one who has done something against you. So we are saying that reporting a matter or a case to the police or to a neighbor is not the confession that we are talking about. See, the art of confession is, brings deliverance to the soul. And any time that you are confessing, there must be an intention. The intention is that you want to make peace with a neighbor or receive forgiveness and favor from God. So we always confess with some intention. The intention of making peace with the offender and also receiving forgiveness and favor from God. This is very important. Hold that closely to your spirit. The art of confession brings deliverance to the soul, and for that matter, the offended person. It will bring you deliverance to your soul. It will release you. So we want to encourage you to please confess whatever that is bothering you to God or to the offender. Let me read Acts chapter 3 from verse 19. Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Repent then, that your sins may be forgiven or wiped out, and then times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Now the word repent means to turn or to return. So in this context, what we are saying is that turn away from the bitterness that is brooding in your spirit. Turn away from there, and then confess it to God, and expect times of refreshing from the Lord. God will step into your life and you make the difference. So God is waiting for your confession. Let's illustrate this from 1 Samuel chapter 1, 
verse 16 and 17. We want to look at Hannah again. 1 Samuel chapter 1, 16, 17. Do not take your servant for a wicked woman. I have been praying here out of my grave anguish and grief. Eli answered, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She said, May your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and ate something. Now you see, Hannah was not eating, but now by the confession, she has freed her soul. And now she went home and now she could enjoy some meals. And her face was no longer downcast. There's a release of the soul. Her face was no longer downcast. Early the next morning, they arose and worshipped before the Lord. Now she could worship because there's refreshing in the spirit. And then went back to their home at Ramah. Elkanah made love to his wife Hannah. And the Lord remembered her. You see, when someone offends you, that is a sin. But when you hold on to the bitterness, that one becomes a sin that you are committing against God. And that becomes a problem. So you must look at that one well. So in the course of time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, saying, because I asked the Lord for him. God remembered Hannah. Her challenge was not with Penina. You see, your future is not in the hands of the offender. Your future is certainly in the hands of God. Once you make true confession to him, and you pour out this bitterness, and you turn away from it completely, God will remember you. So let me encourage you that unforgiveness, resentment, and all these things will hold you in bandage. Now today, I want you to release yourself, release your soul, like the bird ran away from the foulest snare by making a true confession. And times of refreshing will come from above. But there is a but. I will deal with that next week. God be with you. May I give you the space to give your life to Jesus and accept him as your Lord. If you will, please repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I accept Jesus as my personal savior. I want him to come into my life and be my Lord forever. If you have said this simple prayer in faith, you are born again. God bless you. Thanks for watching this episode of Weekly Inspiration with Apostle Eric Nyamiche. In today's message, we learned that confession brings deliverance to the soul and releases us from bitterness. By confessing our bitter emotions to God, we receive refreshment from God and our prayers and sacrifices become acceptable to Him. It is important, therefore, to confess whatever is bothering us to God or the offender in order to make peace with God and our neighbors. We trust that you have been inspired by this week's message. For prayer, counseling or inquiries, kindly reach us on 05433-08187 or email us at info.weeklyinspiration at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Till we come your way again, have a blessed week.